Yes. Wait. Is it working? Looks like I'm blinking. Oh, no. Well, we'll see. Oh, hello, it's Monday, and uh, I'm here again. I didn't do my hair. Hang on a minute. Let me fix this. Well, it makes the gray come out when I can just streak it through like that, doesn't it? How's that? It's exactly the same. There's no hope for me. Oh. I woke up early. Well, as early as I could. And really busted my hump to get here at 8 a.m. for an 8 a.m. meeting. And I called the conference call number, and I listened to the on-hold music for 50. Five all minutes. And they only have about five minutes of on-hold music, so it just cycles constantly. And I thought about leaving the call. I was like, eh, I'm here. I might as well. So about 10 to 9, we finally got the cancellation notice for the meeting that Dustin, I will call out Dustin, tried to send over the weekend. Although, let's face it, if you send a cancellation notice over the weekend, I'm not going to know about it until I get here at 8 a.m. anyway. So, next time you want me to come in at 8, you know, forget about it. So, it's 437. It's currently 90 degrees. Ugh. I wish I'd closed up the house before I left. It's now 4.38 p.m. And it has hit 91. In fact, Weatherbug says it hits, it's hit 92 so far today. I don't know. Temperature usually doesn't go down by now, but it may be getting cloudier outside. We just got a severe weather, a severe weather storm warning, a severe thunderstorm, but not even a thunderstorm warning. Actually, it's a flash flooding warning. We may get three to six inches of rain, or we may not. But with the ground already saturated, any significant amount of rain is that much more significant because it can't soak into the ground. It just runs off, and you end up with a creek out front instead of a road. I know about this all too well because I totaled a car in a flash flood once. I'll spare you that story. Coming up on seven years since that happened, can you believe it? Won't you please stay hydrated? So, we're back. That's number 109. Let me ask you something. Do your nines, do you prefer them that they look like this nine right here? Or do you prefer like that? What do you think? Just like standing up on its leg like that? This is the kind of shirt that never stays buttoned. Watch, watch it unbutton itself very soon. So do you like it like that or do you like it like this? It's an important question. I went back and looked, and then I put a top on the six, so I must like it like that. It uses one more segment, but... Oh, you know, I didn't leave a word behind, did I? Let's see, what word can I make out of that? I can't. I would have to move it around somehow. Look at unbuttoned itself again. The problem is that the shirt is the wrong size. I think it's probably too big. This. Here. I need to shave too. Probably wash my hair again. Yesterday was Father's Day, so we went to the Father's Day buffet. It was awesome. There's a, a man who will make an omelet for you. So I had to make an omelet for me. The way that it works uh, at this restaurant is you get a little dish and you put everything you want in your omelet except cheese in it. So there's a little ground beef thing, some ham, some bacon, mushrooms, onions. They got a little pepper, tomato, salsa-like thing. They have garlic, anything you want. And then, once it's done, and they put the cheese in it, you can 
really go over the top and put pesto sauce on top of it, so I did. So, as soon as I got home, I was in a food coma, pretty much. Called my dad, but he wasn't home, so I had to take a nap. Call him afterwards. But I was awake for the last part of the NASCAR race. Dale Jr. won. Hooray! Dale Jr. won. Nobody cares. Well, a lot of people care about Dale Jr. winning, I have found out. Of course, now that he's won, will they start over? Is he going to win again? Or will, the, will they be good for a while? I don't know. I'm excited that the road race is coming up. The road race they usually have on Father's Day. They didn't this year. I can't remember if they did last year or not. But it's at Sonoma, my home track. I've never been there, but always more keenly interested in it when it's up at, uh, uh, I don't even know what they call that place anymore. It's not Sears Point. It hasn't been for years. But I don't even think it's Infineon anymore either. Um... What do they call that place? Craig would know. Craig's not watching. Susie, are you watching? Craig and Susie usually go because they get uh, some promotional consideration. I can't remember if it's from Sherwin Williams or from Save Mart or it's the Save Mart Toyota 250, by the way. But they always go and they always get pretty good seats and they always take pictures and they always uh, look out for Boris Said just for me. And last year they got a picture of Boris Said and David Gilland and that was like the most perfectest everything ever. But I don't know if that's going to happen this time. I'm assuming they're going out because I believe they've been training their son in the fine art of uh, NASCAR and uh, specifically road racing. At least from the Facebook pictures of his Hot Wheels. So I don't know who Mason's rooting for, but uh, I have a feeling I will find out within the next seven days. I'm excited because my man Boris said has a ride. He's going to be driving the number 32 for his old pal Frank Stoddard using his old pal, uh, Mr. Hendrick's money. HendrickCars.com is sponsoring the 32. And I wouldn't be surprised if there wasn't a little U.S. Chrome in there somewhere, too. When Boris was driving his own car, uh, one of his uh, non-sponsors was U.S. Chrome. That's a ways back. That's when it was the 08, I think. I missed the 60. I wonder if the 60 will ever come back. No. I'm actually surprised Boris is in this race at all. I kind of thought he was out, but... I guess he's still valuable as a road course ringer. Ironically, it's not. there's no irony at all, but last year he was driving the 51. Uh, Kurt Busch is in the 51 this year. Somehow, still has a job. Kurt's actually going to go between Wisconsin and California. The nationwide race... Aren't you interested in NASCAR? The nationwide race is a road America in Wisconsin. Almost a, a home track for me. But again... It's tough to go to a road course. This track is over four miles for one lap, so you really would not be seeing much of it in front of you unless you had a big screen at the same time. But it, uh, it's always intriguing, and I'm always interested in going. And If Paul Menard were in there, maybe I'd be more interested, but I don't think he's racing this week because it's tough to go between Wisconsin and California. I don't know if anybody's doing it besides Kurt. Maybe Joe Nemechek, but nobody pays attention to Joe. Old front row Joe. That's your NASCAR update. That all came because that's what I watched last night. Uh, and after the race was over, I watched um, the NBA game on mute, which was just as well. What a joke. And something on my laptop, which may or may not be legal to mention at the same time the NBA game was on. I have no idea what you might think I might have been watching, but I certainly didn't tweet about it because I don't do that. Speaking of tweeting, I'll be tweeting Monday Night Raw tonight, so if you happen to be watching the show, why don't you say hi? Uh, actually, why don't you say something so phenomenally amazing that I will retweet it, retweet it to the world? And then if I happen to say something phenomenally amazing, you can do the same for me. Deal. I think my 10 minutes is up. It's hard to tell. I don't have a stopwatch on this watch. This was one of my birthday presents, and I really like it. It has quite a glow. I'd have to turn the lights off for you to see. Actually, why don't I do that? Can you see it? Not really. Can you see? Actually, look at that. That Space Invader back there. He's really glowing. All right. My 10 minutes is up. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. By which time this camera will have adjusted to the lighting in the room.